more seats up front. Anyone who's standing in the back, you're welcome to come up here. Fill in these empty seats. They're right here for you. Come sit down. Um, I'm very excited for our next comic. Um, he's been at Chatterbox a few times before. Chatterbox favorite. Visiting from Seattle. You guys make it super loud for Michael Aguilera. <laughs> One more time for your host, everybody. One more time. Uh, yeah. So, uh, 33 years ago, I survived a C-section. <laughs> True story. We have any C-section babies here? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. You? Both of you? Yeah. Fucking made it, bro. <laughs> we made it. We're here. Uh, it's a true story. My mom told me this when I was 13. She said the reason why she had to have a C-section in order to have me was because I was seated upright in the womb with the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck. True story. Like, how fucked up is it to hear at age 13 that you were ready to end it all before it even began? <laughs> like, you, you know how hard it must be? You know how hard it must be to do in the womb without a stool? <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> I gained weight during COVID. Thank you for not cheering. Thank you so much for not cheering. I appreciate that. People usually cheer when I say that. It's fucked up. Um, I didn't notice that I gained weight until I realized that my coworkers stopped calling me Mike. They started calling me Big Mike. <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. I'm sick and tired of Dudes that are fatter than me, wearing 4X or 5X, telling me that 2X is not fat. Like, since when does that, like, did, does 2X just become a medium at that point? Like, what's the fucking conversion on that? It's, it's wrong. Uh, I'm an alcoholic. Thank you for not cheering for that. Uh, this, is, this is true, I'm an alcoholic. I start a support group for people like myself. You guys can join if you want. Uh, it's called Alcoholics, a lot of us. <laughs> yeah, you guys can join, it's open enrollment right now. Uh, if you're interested, the first step is that there are no steps. <laughs> because those are dangerous. <laughs> I got a pamphlet for you after the show. <laughs> uh, I got I'm gonna get the VIP out of this motherfucker. <laughs> Um, first time I heard the phrase AA was when I was nine years old, and I was at my little cousin's birthday party. We were in the backyard, and I heard my uncle from across the way. He's like, AA! <laughs> Pendejo! <laughs> the Capri Suns are in the other cooler. <laughs> I knew what I was going for. <laughs> One of that Tecate light, you know what I'm saying? Start you off fucking early. Uh, I've been really into research lately. I came across this study that said that 99.9% .9 of people who have at least two beers on their lunch break go back to the second half of their shift and enjoy their work. <laughs> like, mind you, I've been the only person conducting this research right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the, the, the statistics are correct. <laughs> the data shows. This is the interactive portion of my set where you can choose to cheer with me. Hello. Hello. I had sex with a 50 year old woman recently. That's a true story. I'm 33, you do the math. Uh, without getting too descriptive, I'm gonna tell you exactly how she tasted. <laughs> she tastes like a pack of cigarettes. A divorce. And a pretty decent meatloaf recipe. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm talking about like actual meatloaf, you fucking perv. Not her like, you know what I mean? That wasn't a cute nickname that I had for it. 
Um, I, 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 brought, I bring it up because I've been reflecting and on the times we hooked up a couple times and shit. But it was all a blur because every time we hooked up, we would take shrooms. So I remember the, this one specific time, uh, we took shrooms, we were in her living room, right? And next thing you know, she's on top of me. Next thing you know, I look to the corner, there's a chihuahua just fucking <laughs> looking at us. Didn't know she had a dog. Uh, next thing you know, uh, we're on the couch again. Fast forward, I'm fucking doing push-ups for no reason. There's a Pink Floyd album playing in the background. <laughs> the Chihuahua is now a Doberman. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But yeah, I think I'm a caller leader. It's, it's been a while. I know I'm, in, I'm, I'm visiting from Seattle, but I'll still hit her up, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I took a mental health day the other day. I didn't know you could fucking do that. I thought you just like clock in until you clock out forever. <laughs> right? And like I had it mapped out, right? I had it mapped out. Like I was gonna go get weed, because you know, priorities. I was gonna go get a haircut and I was gonna get a coffee, right? And I ride public transit up in Seattle, so the way the, the bus route is mapped, I ended up at the coffee shop first. And I swear it's like a Wednesday, it was noon. It was like this old man in the back, these two baristas, and then this lady in front of me finishing order. And I swear to God, the second I walked in, the first thing I hear was like, I got a short Mexican in-house. <laughs> and I was already faded, so I was like, how the fuck did this fool see me? I just got in. <laughs> and I put two and two together, and I realized he was referring to the Mexican hot chocolate that he made for the lady in front of me. But I'll tell you this, I've never felt so pissed and proud at the same time. I felt seen. I felt fucking seen. Uh, and then I placed my order. I ordered a dirty chai. And the whole time I just kept looking back at the door while I was waiting for my drink to see if some Indian tech bro was gonna walk me right behind me. <laughs> Never happened, but you know, I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> one day, one day, one day, universe, one day. Uh, since people are talking about fucking, you know, Easter Sunday and shit. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm 33. Um, I, when I was when I when I turned 33, I was talking to a couple of my homies, and one of my homies was like, "Hey man, it's your Larry Bird year." And I'm like, bro, I'm a Laker fan, you know this. Fuck Larry Bird, dude. Why the fuck would you? Right. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We get applause for that, that's sick. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> then, I had another homie, he's like, nah man, it's your Jesus year. You guys know what happened to Jesus when he was 33? <laughs> Why the fuck would you wish crucifixion on me, homie? <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've been living in Seattle for eight years. It's actually the first year that I've been living like on my own, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy, right? But the fucked up part is like I got a micro studio, which means I just signed a six month lease agreement not to have threesomes. <laughs> I don't even have twosomes right now. Like, why do you need the extra form of documentation on this file? There's no need for it. Uh, but yeah, upon moving, I lost some things like. But, you know, I, right now I don't have a, I don't have a bed. It's pretty fucked up. I don't have a bed. But the homegirl, she found out, and she's like, "Don't worry, homie, I got you." So she lent me an air mattress, right? But the fucked up part about it all is like, she gave me the air mattress, she gave me the pump, but she didn't give me the cap to like hold the air in, <laughs> right? So I hit her up because she gave it to me in like a generic ass bag. I'm like, I'm sure it came in a box. She checked the box. She checked her place. She couldn't find it. And she said, don't worry, homie, I got you. So tell me why she met me at the bar with a butt plug. <laughs> honestly, uh, I've been sleeping like a king ever since. <laughs> I haven't even attempted to inflate the air mattress to see if it works. <laughs> Just like laying there on the floor, sprawled. 
on one of those like thick Mexican tiger blankets. You know what I mean? <laughs> Or maybe you have the other variation, like the Aztec warrior that's like sacrificing his lady at the fucking the pyramid, you know? Just sprawls, just fucking cheeked up, pun intended. Um, I'm gonna leave you with one more, if that's cool. And either way, I'm still gonna fucking do it. I don't know why I mentioned it like that. Uh, so I have tattoos, okay? These are, these are the first ones I got right here. I get asked about this one all the time. It's a scorpion. And the reason they always ask me about this one is because they ask me if I'm a Scorpio. And I, every time I answer, no, I'm a moth. This is a moth right here. <laughs> but I was thinking about my tattoos. Uh, I, got, I got this one here, and then I got this one. Then I got this one on my arm right here. And then I got the one on my arm down here. And I was like, the re there's place, there's reasons for this placement, right? And I put two and two together, and it's the song La Macarena. <laughs> I already got one on the side of my head. I think the next tattoos I'm gonna get are gonna be the side of my hips. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Michael Lagarde. Have a great fucking night. <laughs>